Today we are discussing vitamins, probiotics, and herbal remedies for promoting fish health. Vitamin supplements are a reef safe option for boosting a fish's immune system, supplementing dietary deficiencies, promoting healing, and improving overall health. Food soaking vitamins seems to be especially useful for reversing HLLE. The following are aquarium products which contain vitamins suitable for saltwater aquarium fish. Cellcon, Zocon, Vitachem, Brightwell Aquatics, which sells a variety of different fish nutrition products, including vitamins, and Aquaforest Fish V. Do-it-yourself options include vitamins A, C, E, folic acid, amino acids, omega-3 and 6 fish oil, and krill oil. The value of feeding nori cannot be overstated as it contains high levels of both iodine and fiber. Before continuing to probiotics, I would like to briefly discuss beta-glucan. Scientific research has been done regarding its role as an immunostimulant, which could be useful for sending viruses like lymphocystis back into remission. Beta-glucan is easily sourced from health food stores or Amazon. You will find a link which contains a recipe for using it in fish food in the comments section. Now let's discuss probiotics. Why do you want your fish to have probiotics? A fish's natural immune system is fueled by its gut microbiota, which are the microorganisms, including bacteria, that live in the digestive tract. Probiotics, when consumed, help to bolster or restore the gut microbiota. LRS foods, seen at the right, are frozen fish food blends which contain probiotics. Or you can food soak probiotics yourself by using something like probiotic marine formula or growth hack probiotic food supplement by Reef Hacks. Herbal remedies and garlic. There are a slew of herbal remedies on the market, and some hobbyists believe that these will actually cure their fish or tank of some disease. Although they are rarely capable of 100% eradication, these remedies may help manage the symptoms of a disease. It is thought that most herbal remedies work by boosting a fish's immune system and or thickening their slime coat to withstand symptoms. If a fish can live with the pathogen long enough, its immune system will eventually acquire immunity or resistance. Whether the immunity or resistance is permanent or only temporary is dependent upon a number of factors. Also, these immune fish are oftentimes still just asymptomatic carriers capable of transmitting disease to non-immune fish. The use of garlic for managing parasites is a hotly debated topic, but there is now at least some scientific evidence to support this. Also, anecdotal evidence that garlic can be used in food as an appetite stimulant is well documented. Thank you for watching this video and join us at humble.fish for all reef related discussion. Also, hit the subscribe button to see more informational videos like this one.